My name is Winnie. I'm a peer mentor of Olive International. I'd just like to encourage you during this time of the pandemic, you know, the economic times are very strenuous and we've had to adjust our lives to the new norm right now. But maybe there's a silver lining to all this. This is the time for us as young people to plug in at the local level and maybe just starting at home really to find ways that we can really view this time as the pupa stage of development to really work on our character and skills because right now we have YouTube, we have online resources that we can really tap into and really use it to develop ourselves so that when the time comes, when things somewhat open up, we are able and prepared and equipped with the skills and tools needed to really tackle um, work tackle challenges and just become problem solvers as young people just um, today reading from the book of Acts chapter 1 you see how the 12 disciples chose I mean the 11 because Judas has had betrayed Christ and he removed himself from the 12 so they were 11 and they were trying to find a 12th apostle to join them and they chose Matthias because he had been with them from the start you know he had been with them from when Jesus was preaching watched him perform all the miracles and he he had the word of Christ in him and uh, you can just see so if you're constantly plugged in with the right people the right crowd even if you're not necessarily shining like the 12 were when the time comes because you have been consistently there you'll be chosen so keeping the right crowd counts as um, for us young people happy international youth my name is Lou, and i'd like to share my experience of how god has transformed my life this year during the pandemic. So my testimony is a short one and it is just to encourage you during this time. Well, after the schools closed, I had to take a semester break and I found myself with a lot of time on my hands. I was very lonely and I also got depressed. Now, I also didn't know what to do. I liked direction and I was feeling very hopeless. So I went to God in prayer and I prayed a lot about it. And one night, the Lord put the desire in my heart in a specific, um, a clear direction on what I needed to do at that point. Um, he told me um, to find somebody that would help walk with me and uh, I realized at that moment that I needed a mentor that would walk side by side with me to guide me and to encourage me and help me during this time because I was completely alone. So after praying about it that night, the next day I contacted uh, somebody at our school from the psychology head department and she connected me with Miss Lucy from Olive International who has become a very important um, an important figure in my life because of how encouraging she has been to me this year and I realize now that it was God who was at work all along. She plugged me into a Bible study called Experiencing God with five other young ladies and it was a transformational experience. Fellowshipping with others really encouraged me every week. Fellowshipping with others helped me also um, have hope in the unforeseen future and she also helped me start getting into a training with the training I was able to gain confidence and um, know how to be a peer mentor to others who are also experiencing loneliness in this period who are experiencing hopelessness who are experiencing a lot of self-doubt and going through depression with the program we had a project and me along with other um, teammates we were able to uh, do a video encouraging encouraging the youth who are struggling with depression in this time 
then with the experience in God Bible study, I was able to go into my community and help out in the, our local church by leading the service. And that was a very liberating experience. Serving God and seeing myself contributing to the society. So wherever you are right now, I want you to let you know that God really loves you and is ready to lead you if you would ask him. Maybe you need a mentor to walk with you side by side or just a deeper relationship with him. Happy International Youth Day.